<laughs> hey guys, I'm Tina Hui with Follow the Coin, and we have Mo Levin and Cecile. I don't know how to say your last name. Bear? Uh, Bear. <laughs> and uh, way better than I could do it. <laughs> and it doesn't look like it, but you guys are in Miami right now, right? We're in the theater. Yeah, show every. Can we see the theater really quickly? Like, this is pretty exciting. Everybody. Woo! This is kind of awesome. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. So that's the theater. And we're here talking about the Miami Bitcoin conference. I, you guys have to introduce yourselves. Tell us all about the conference. You know, tell us everything. Thank you for showing us the theater. <laughs> okay, so you must tell us, you know, what your roles are, what, uh, what you're doing over there in Miami, and uh, what's happening this weekend. This weekend we're going to have the fourth North American Bitcoin conference. And it's going to be, I think, one of the most interesting conferences in recent memory because of everything that's happened in the last few months. We're just going to have a party down here in Miami Beach and celebrate some Bitcoin stuff. My name is Mo. This is Cecile. It's bad. <laughs> and uh, Josh, is, Josh is back there doing some set design. Jeff is uh, doing some work also on set design. He's getting a boat, and we've got a yacht or, We have a yacht that's going to be parked in front of the place. But what we do is we all work together on everything that has to do with the conference. So I don't think they're – do you have a job title? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. That. Do you have a job title? <laughs> I don't think Josh has one. Jeff. He's a designer, though. But yeah. he, he's a graphic designer, but nobody has a – there's no job. It's we all do. We all try to make this happen. I mean, I think Bitcoin events. It's basically a bunch of people dedicating and saying we're going to do this and then making it happen, right? No job titles. Very stuck. Oh. Hey, can you hear? Yeah, my my video kinked out. Are you guys there? Yeah, we're back. I think that's the thing about um, big events, especially in Bitcoin. Everybody just gets together and says we're going to make this happen, and you don't really need job titles because everyone's running around getting things done, anyways. That's it. That's the true startup uh, spirit in Bitcoin spirit, isn't it? True Bitcoin. Jack, yeah, jack of all trades. So tell us about the conference itself. Like why, why Miami? Why it? You know, why is it called a North American Bitcoin conference? And tell us everything. How did it begin? Four years ago. Humble beginnings. Uh, I was working on procurement conferences for a couple of years in Austria and Switzerland. And people began talking about Bitcoin as a way to save money and time for people that are doing procurement and supply chain management. And everybody was laughing their asses off. Like, nobody believed Bitcoin could work at all. And it wasn't worth anything, and that's why they didn't think it was going to be anything. And I thought, it could be interesting to make a Bitcoin conference myself. I was working for a different company, and I thought maybe it would be interesting to do a Bitcoin conference myself. I looked online, Bitcoin talk forums, Twitter wasn't that big, but Bitcoin talk and Reddit were... Here. It seemed like people were interested. I posted a message on Bitcoin Talk saying, hey, my name is Mo. I want to make a conference. Can somebody help me? And then everybody was super interested in it. So we made the first conference. There were a couple hundred people. We, we were in a small comedy club. And we had the exhibitors inside the comedy club while people spoke. So that was a lesson we learned about running that conference. That, uh, <laughs> But it was so interesting. We had the, like the companies that are now big exhibited there first. That was the first the hackers and developers community conference. And then over the years, like last year, we had in January, I think, 12, 1,500 people come down to Miami. We partied the whole weekend and just had a good time celebrating Bitcoin. So what we have here is not a very suited up and corporate feeling. There are investors. There are plenty of business CEOs investors, entrepreneurs coming from all over the world, even senators and politicians. But it's Miami Beach, and we have bars in the conference hall, fully stocked, so you be drinking the entire time, relax. The kickoff party the night before is at one of the most famous uh, beach nightclubs in the world. And we're just going to have a good time. Like it, it happens way too often in Bitcoin that everybody takes things too seriously, right. keeping their heads down and working so hard all the time. People need to let down their hair a little bit, have fun on Miami Beach, and party. But yeah, but there are going to be a few other things. It's not going to be. Sure, <laughs> there, there could be some <laughs> drama. drama. Yeah. No, so with, with the recent price 
hindrance, the price, the price tick up. What happened? When Bitcoin went on sale. <laughs> Where's our PR people? <laughs> we need them. <laughs> when was the clear? It's Boxing Day sale right now. So exactly. there's, been, there's been a Boxing Day sale for Bitcoin. It's a time to buy, buy, buy. <laughs> Five for a thousand. Exactly. Yeah, it's the sales. Yeah, January sales. Like, yeah. January sale time. That's it. Yeah. Springtime. Getting rid of the getting rid of false stock, whatever it is. So the price has dropped a bit, and there's been some issues with um, an exchange having a bit of an issue, or altcoins being. Who knows what's happening with it? There's been drama recently that we need to address as a community. Right. Uh, are you willing with, to speak about that a little bit? With so many different interesting companies being here, it'll be an event which I, I don't think anybody wants to miss. And the only reason people might miss it are... Um, travel costs? Just travel costs, I guess. Hotel. Yeah. It's, it's Miami in high season, so it's a little bit hard to get to. But we already have close to a thousand people who are prioritizing this conference over the millions of other things they could be doing this weekend. Well, we're going, we're going to be there. <laughs> Bells and whistles on taping all over the beach and hotels and floor. <laughs> You're bringing the videos, poolside parties, bikini parties. We, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> it, it'll be a lot of fun. We have a, uh, we have a press room dedicated to you guys. I can't uh, wait to do interviews in there. But, I, I'm really impressed with some of the exhibitors that have come out and that are going to be exhibiting here. Uh, to PK, Coin Simple, uh, Store J is coming here. Um, we have Bitstop is a Miami local. They they do ATMs and other services, maybe even remittance. We have so many interesting new startups still coming out in the Bitcoin scene, and they're exhibiting here. We have Sean's outpost is speaking like. Just we're trying to amplify and show off the good of Bitcoin. So Sean Zelpos is going to speak here. Jason's a great guy. Um, it's yeah, everyone. We have, Everyone's going to be here. Some this is we got the entire startup stage as well. Got some great new startups coming up. Um, we've got an, all, many Bitcoin core developers as well. Um, we're going to be t yeah touching on the libertarian stuff as well. We've got Jeff Tucker, one of my favorite yeah, guys in Bitcoin. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, the regulation panel is going to be good as well. I'm looking forward to that fireside chat. One of the, the most famous senators from Australia is speaking. That's really interesting, definitely. Um, and, you know, right now is one of these critical moments for Bitcoin where we're entering a crucial phase of development where we got to move from uh, speculation and <clears throat> libertarianism to a more mature, developed world currency befitting of the modern age. And uh, Very now, well stated. <laughs> now, like more than ever, the Bitcoin community is needed to get together and talk about all these issues and identify what the yeah. major teething points are, how we're going to get there, what are we going to do, and sitting together either on the beach, at a bar, at the conference center, in a lounge, talking about what their plans are for the next year. This, this conference, I can tell you five different companies that contract their development this whole year to the conference that happened last January. That's this exciting. is where the next year gets developed and the thoughts and the seeds are planted over here. What we're going to do this year, who we're going to work on, how this is going to develop. So this is one of these important conferences where it's, it's direction setting. Right. No, that's great. I mean, obviously, well, there's a bunch of unconferences, right? And they say unconferences are the best ways, especially in tech, where my background was, where you can get together and have a bunch of folks in a pool or like at a campground and talking about, well, we're going to be in Miami, which is even better. <laughs> and talking about, you know, where do we want developers to be concentrating efforts in? You know, where do we want um, marketing or media to collaborate and like really tell the stories that matter versus, you know, regurgitating the news over and over again. I mean, there's always something happening, but I think matter is becoming more interesting. Quality of content, quality of work, quality, quality of services. It's just really providing, you know, maturing Bitcoin. So it's a really good time for all of that to happen now. <laughs> and I can't wait to see you guys there. What are the can't miss events for you guys, uh, conference wise and then party wise? What should people just not miss? The kickoff event at the Clevelander Hotel. That's uh, the kickoff party at the Clevelander Hotel is not to be missed. That's 
one of the top events of the calendar. That starts at 7 p.m. Poolside. We're going to have logos all over the hotel on Ocean Drive. I mean, this, they, they accept Bitcoin there. You can pay for your drinks. There's bottle service, everything with Bitcoin. That's one of the top events. <laughs> it's going to be uh, some women with uh, a <laughs> painted women. There's my dear mate. Uh, listen, there are mate guys as well. Okay. I really, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for thinking about the yeah. ladies as well. <laughs> you don't need to. You, sure. have the <laughs> you don't need to. There's a guy and girl. Don't worry. I, they're they're hired on there. There's both women and men in Bitcoin. <laughs> Um, we go to the conference and you got speakers like uh, Jeff Tucker is going to be talking. He's not to be missed ever. When he opens his mouth, you should see, see him speak. Adam Beck, one of the co-founders of Blockstream, super interesting guy developing the side chains. We got the mining panel, which I think everybody in Bitcoin is looking to know more about what the hell is going on with mining. I mean, some people say that's the reason why there is that hiccup in the price at the moment, right? <laughs> so that's who knows why we we think it, many people exactly think it's the mining the miners and what they're selling their equipment or they're taking the price putting 5,000 bitcoins every other day you know uh who else zappo is interesting we're hearing from ted rogers the cso of zappo i love what they're doing the vault is great their service is great their app is great factum that's mm. cool i mean adding any type of information on top of the blockchain, mm -hmm. we'll see some interesting things. Change step yeah. is like, what's their tagline? The love button? The love, yeah. The, the love button of the internet. <laughs> so they're great. Nick is going to talk in the morning on the second day. Um, we have the CEO of OKCoin is going to speak, and that is not to be missed. I think this is his first speech in America. I'm looking forward to hearing what he has to say, because OKCoin is just the elephant in the room. They are doing everything right. right. And they're releasing new product after new product and ton of volume, very secure. I mean, I tried getting into my account on OKCoin and I forgot the, I think I, like the second SMS password was linked to another phone. I couldn't get in at all. That's how secure it is. I still have like a Bitcoin there that I'm trying to get out. But. <laughs> That's always funny to me because I'm, yeah, I'm always like, oh, I'm like the worst person with passwords. So with Bitcoin, all you know, double encrypted, multi-sig sign-on stuff, I'm just like, oh, goodness, yeah. I'm never going to get my Bitcoins back. I'm glad it's not just me. Yeah. What else is there? Uh, then on uh, Saturday night, we're going to be in a speakeasy. Uh, amazing speakeasy bar in uh, Mexican Taqueria. I think there's so much I can say, so much Cecile can say about this conference that like just come and then afterwards say that was a good show. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> I think, well, I mean, we're gonna be in Miami in a beach. It's kind of giving everybody a chance to a network, right? And networking yeah. is important for business to partnerships. I get to get to know you two better <laughs> in person, not just in video and emails. And uh, then we're all going to be on a beach, which is even better. You're relaxed and happy. <laughs> kind of a quasi-vacation. Yeah. You're back. Here. <laughs> You're back. How the conference, what the conference is like, it's like a TED conference meets Ibiza and Tech Lunch Disrupt. Although Tina, exactly, yeah, yes, all, all together. Yeah, that's. Although Tina and me were just discussing that's a bit like a, a school trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we said it's a school trip. Well, we're just excited, so you can kind of relax. Uh, exactly, Ted and the Ibiza. Absolutely, it's gonna be great. I can't so, wait. Like strategy in the day, and then we can joke, you know, chill out and discuss everything and eat in the evenings. It's gonna be perfect. And everybody yeah. can tell me when to turn off the cameras. <laughs> I get yelled at all the time anyways. Tina, camera's off. <laughs> camera's on. <laughs> I think you should keep your finger on the button off. Yeah. <laughs> like, keep your finger ready to go, ready to... Film. We'll see what happens. I'm excited. This is going to be a party. I can't wait. You know, I'm actually, we set up um, maybe live stream capabilities. Fingers crossed, it, we may be able to just run around shooting. So that would be better than having to set everything up all the time. So yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> It was great talking to you. Very okay, great yeah, talking to you okay, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. See you. Thanks, Tina. Okay, yeah, I did. Perfect. We are now recording. Okay. And then, uh, okay, so we say hey, folks, together. So, 
One on the count of three. One. You guys there? <laughs> two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One, two, three.